this one is kind of timely considering there was some news about DCF this week. Um, unfortunately, yes. uh, this came from Dustin and he wants to know what is your plan to reform DCF and the failed Kansas foster care system? Okay. Well, the legislature recognized that there's a huge problem, many problems uh, in DCF and so we put together uh, the Child Welfare Task Force, uh, which I sit on, and we have been meeting for over a year now uh, with the expectation that we will come out with for recommendations for reform in January. Uh, we have around that table people from the field. Uh, you know, we've got guardian ad litems, we've got attorneys, we've got judges, we've got social workers, we've got foster parents, uh, we have we have the contractors and we have the agency all sitting around there talking about what's going on and then experts uh, providing testimony to us and individuals providing testimony. So we're gathering all the information, uh, the data that we need, and then we will craft a, a comprehensive reform plan that we will implement uh, as resources uh, are available. I think first and foremost we know that that agency itself has been decimated over the past eight years. Uh, there's a huge shortage of trained social workers, uh, both at the entry level, so that we don't have anybody working with families uh, to do preservation, keep those families together, so those kids are going into the foster care system. Uh, and then we don't have social workers at the other end to do reintegration, whether to the biological family or the adoptive family. Uh, so we have got to ramp up uh, our, our qualified staff within that agency. Uh, and then we need to set up a, a rigorous system of transparency uh, so that when there are problems, they're reported, uh, they're studied, and we figure out what we did wrong uh, to learn from our mistakes. Uh, we, we need to work with everybody. We need to work with the court system and the agency and the contractors. Um, you know, I know there are people concerned you know, that we privatize this and that it's all the contractor's fault. I'd suggest that you know, everybody's uh, to blame for this. Uh, but you know, as a state official, I have to take most of the blame for the state, that we have not provided the kind of oversight nor the kind of resources that have been necessary to make sure that our kids and families are safe.